Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about free website traffic and how you can get some starting today, and we're gonna do it like a total boss. So if you've come online and you're looking to create this lifestyle for yourself, you wanna become a total boss, we're gonna do it right here, uh, right here on this video. Now, before we get it started, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell option, that way you get notified of all of the videos that I come out with on a daily basis for you. So if you're coming online and you wanna have success, there's really only two things you need. You need an offer to promote and you need traffic to that offer. Now the best way to get traffic to that offer is going to be email traffic because all of these sales are gonna be on the back end. But in order to build that email address, you, or build that email list, you need website traffic and you need free traffic to do that. Now a lot of times, I know you guys are, you're, you wanna get online, you wanna make quick money and, and what you do is you grab your affiliate link and you just go post it all over the internet and people try, they click on that link and they go to a sales page. And then you wonder why you're not getting any sales. It's because people don't really buy on sales pages. They buy from people that they, they like, they enjoy, they trust. So when you send out an email that they know you and they're getting to like you, that's where you're gonna make all of your money. You're not gonna make it from just posting your affiliate link all over the place. It just doesn't work. Uh, you know, People are doing that and it's not working for them. So we're gonna talk about free traffic, okay? And how are you gonna get that starting today? The best way to do that, if you're not on Facebook, grab a Facebook free account. Anybody can get a uh, Facebook account. You can get started and get it up and running. I'm sure that you already have a Facebook account. Now, inside of Facebook, there is what they call Facebook groups, okay? Now, you might have tried Facebook groups. Maybe somebody's told you about Facebook groups in the past. And maybe you've tried them and you failed and you bombed. But I'm gonna give you some suggestions that might help you to start to generate traffic. This is the stuff that I do. I'm doing this uh, consistently now and I've been doing it consistently for years, it's been working great. In fact, before Facebook, I was all over MySpace. If you guys remember MySpace, it was, it was Facebook before, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was really Facebook before Facebook. So MySpace was it, and I was hitting those groups then. Now there's a couple things you wanna look for. When you go into the search bar on Facebook, you just type in your niche. So it could be fitness niche, business opportunity, it could be um, investment, it could be Forex stock, Bitcoin, whatever you're gonna be doing. Just type in that uh, into the search box. And then what they're gonna do is, Facebook's gonna list um, all of the groups that people have set up. Now what I suggest you doing is this, is you find some of the biggest groups out there and they're gonna show you based on membership. So it could be uh, 50,000 members, 100,000 members. The rule of thumb that I use when I see a group that's 30,000 members strong and above, I always try to join those groups. The reason being is this, is normally, with that many people in those, in those groups, it's, those groups are open to what they call uh, promotional type groups. So you can go in there and you can, you can uh, create an ad and you can create a link to your lead capture page. And when you get inside of there and you get those groups going, then you can um, uh, you know, get running with that. Now, there's a few things that I wanna kinda go over with you with Facebook groups. Uh, number one, you, you wanna, try to get into as many groups as you can within that same niche. Uh, there's all kinds of different niches, but try to find narrow it down to a particular one little niche. Now inside of that one little niche, you might be able to find 20 or 30 different groups. What I suggest you doing is when you're first getting started, start off with 10 groups and then up to like 20, maybe 30. But you're gonna have to post in a lot of groups in order to get some really momentum or get some tra traffic going. Now, another thing, when you get in these groups, okay, and you're gonna start posting, you wanna post every day in these groups, and just, you'll, you, when you go into these groups, you'll see other people posting. Don't post what they're posting, okay, because they're posting and they don't know what they're doing. You wanna post your own unique style to your marketing, okay, and I'll give you some suggestions here in just a second, but I wanna just kinda go over some, some ground rules for you when you're getting into groups. Getting into groups, uh, you wanna post every day, you wanna try to post, um, when you post in a group, you post your ad and you post it to your opt-in form, your link, then you post once and then you wanna wait maybe two or three minutes. Don't just post and then post again, post again, because Facebook's gonna go ahead and, and they're gonna block you. Okay, now if you get blocked from Facebook, it's okay, don't worry about it, sometimes it happens. Just, if, if you get blocked, that means because you're either posting, it's too spammy looking, or it's just you're posting too often, or you have a brand new account. So if you have a brand new account with zero people, you wanna make sure you, you add a bunch of friends first. You wanna get your account kinda of going. If you already have a seasoned account, which I call it, then you're gonna be good to go inside those groups. But a brand new account, you wanna get your account seasoned. Uh, Facebook wanna, wants to see that you're not just some marketer. You, you, you know, you're actually using the platform for what it's, what, you know, really what it is, which is social marketing, okay? We're not, 
Facebook didn't really create groups where we can go and spam our link all over the place, uh, but we do anyways because it's good traffic. Okay, so what I suggest you doing is this, is once you get your group set up and you get them all you know, in a line, you have a big membership base in each group, now you start working on what you're gonna be actually posting. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna head out to Google, um, Google Image Search, find some really cool images that you can use. You wanna download those to your computer and you're gonna be able to upload those into your um, ads. What I like to do is I like to, to do travel pictures. If I'm, if I'm in the business opportunity niche, I like to use travel pictures or cars or what I like to do is, is present people where they're gonna be when they get involved with, with my system and, and the things that I do. I wanna kind of project out there. So if I show a picture of somebody at the beach, then somebody's gonna say, hey, I wanna be at the beach, I wanna hang out there. So you wanna just show somebody in, what's gonna happen in the future if they get started with your business. If you're into fitness, then you wanna show fit people. You wanna show uh, people that are working out and, and that are really looking good. That's what you, the pictures that you wanna post inside the groups. Uh, stay away from the pictures that have all kinds of crappy text all over them. I see some of these these people and they, they have these these pictures and there's just text all over them. There's numbers and, and this and that. And none, it's too much. Just have a simple image. A simple image, that's all you need because it's going to stand out crazy inside of those groups. Now your text that you put there. What I like to do is ask a question and then I like to give a statement. So I like to say, hey, are you, over, are you overweight? Uh, well, in, in a free video, I'm going to show you how you can lose 10 pounds the next 10 days. Click this link. And then that link goes to an opt-in form where they get onto my email address and then I can follow up with them. Okay. If you're into um, business opportunity, you could say, hey, are you struggling in your business? Then you can say, watch this video. I'm going to show you how you can increase your leads and your traffic uh, right here uh, you know, today. So you just got to be creative, but ask a question and then, and then give the benefit of somebody clicking on the link. You want to tell them exactly what, the, what kind of benefit they're going to get by clicking on that link. That's how you structure your ad. And when you structure your ads this way, it's going to get people engaged. It's going to get people to, uh, they're actually going to post more information. They're going to ask, you know, they're going to ask you questions and things like that. So you want to have good ads that aren't just real spammy. I see a ton of these, these spammy um, ads that are just, they just basically join my company, join my opportunity, you know, make make four million dollars in the next two days. Okay, it's just they're too spammy, right? People, the only thing people want is they want to, they want to have like a, you know, if it's business or marketing, they want to have freedom. If it's weight loss, they want to have, they want to be skinnier. Okay, they don't really care how they get there. With business opportunity, people don't really care how you get there. They don't really care how to get freedom or how to be able to live the total boss lifestyle. They don't really care how to get there. They just care that they want to get there, okay? And so that's what you're going to be painting the picture to them is, is how you're going to be getting to the end result for them. And that's what you're going to be doing with your ads. This is going to give you free traffic. It's going to get you set up. And if you send this to an opt-in form and you capture the lead, now you're able to follow up with that lead. If you send them straight to a sales page, you're going to lose that traffic and you're never going to be able to get that back. So capture the, the traffic, capture the lead. That way you can follow up with them with email. You can follow up, you can get to, you can have them get to know who you are and you're able to put your affiliate links inside of your email. That way people click on that and they go to your offer. Okay. So that's how you get free traffic and that's how you can get it started today using Facebook groups. If you like this video, click on the like button. Also share it with your friends. Comment below. Let me know how I can help your business. This is Tyler Pratt. Hope you enjoyed that and we will see you on the next one.